Welcome to News World Today. To get more update, please subscribe. FBI supervisor just confessed covert order Obama admin instructed agents to do with Hillary Clinton, drain the swamp. Reports are now starting to become known that Republican lawmakers had said they had heard additional stories about political bias and interference within the FBI on the eve of the much-awaited testimony which was given by FBI Director Christopher Wray this past Thursday. Republican congressman from Florida, Ron DeSantis stated Wednesday that he had interviewed a recently retired FBI supervisor who advised him of the fact that he was ordered by Deputy Director Andrew McCabe not to call the 2012 Benghazi attack an act of terrorism in order to not affect the outcome of the 2012 election between President Barack Hussein Obama and the Republican candidate Mitt Romney. He added that the agent had found the instruction concerning because his unit had gathered undisputable evidence showing that a senior al-Qaeda leader had indeed planned out and directed the attack. He also made very clear the fact that the information had been given to then-President Obama, but instead of doing what an American president should do and take steps to stop it, he decided to ignore the information which resulted in the death of our ambassador and three Navy SEALs. FBI is still protecting Hillary, makes shock decision on emails. The Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI, is a component of the U.S. Department of Justice, the key word being justice. However, we must begin to ask ourselves, if we're honest, whether there are two definitions of justice in America? I'm not talking about the politicized progressive, socialist social justice rhetoric. I'm referring to a simple understanding of the rule of law, and the blind prosecution of those who violate it. When gazing upon Washington DC, and the FBI, it appears that the swamp wins again. As reported by Townhall.com. The FBI has denied a Freedom of Information Act request seeking a series of emails belonging to former Democrat presidential candidate, Hillary Clinton. In their rejection of the request, the FBI cited a lack of public interest for their decision. A lack of public interest? Like the American people, other than those chuckleheads at liberal progressive media outlets, are interested in Russian collusion? Let me understand something, Hillary Clinton was the Secretary of State of the United States, and somehow her emails, which are the property of the American people, are deemed to not be of public interest. How can it be that a government official can destroy tens of thousands of emails, computer hard drives and communications equipment and, well, it's just fine. I suppose the new normal is that everyone that has a top-level security clearance can have a non-secure computer server in their personal residence and transmit classified information of the government of the United States on said server? Doggone it! Why did I have to undergo all those annual handling of classified information briefings and sign forms of responsibility for those years in the army? Oops, forgot, justice is different for deplorables and those not part of the American elite class. There are some who can openly admit to Russia that they'll have more flexibility after re-election, and that's not deemed improper collusion or even questioned. Some can conduct a uranium deal with Russians and get personal financial benefit, and that's not collusion and isn't to be questioned. We have individuals who abandoned Americans to die and then lied about it, but don't question that. As a matter of fact, according to some, this is also not of public interest. No, it's just not in the interest of those elites who sneer and look down their noses at the common American surf. Just look at the elites who are showing such utter disdain toward the people of Texas and their suffering from Storm Harvey. We've seen the cartoons from Politico and Francis Charlie Hebdo, along with the insidious and disgusting claims by the progressive, socialist left seeking to leverage Harvey as a case for climate change. And let's not forget the University of Tampa professor who tweeted that this was karma for the people in Texas for voting for Donald Trump. At least he got justice by getting fired, but some liberal institution will hire him and welcome him with open arms. And by the way, just a little factoid, Harris County, Houston, voted overwhelmingly for Hillary Clinton.
we must realize that anyone who committed one-tenth of the actions of Hillary Clinton would be charged, tried and sentenced. How can we live in a country where there are two levels of justice? And I haven't even brought up Representative Debbie Wasserman Schultz and her obstruction of justice in the case of her IT worker, who made millions of dollars from taxpayer funds. She sought to withhold his computer hardware, which doesn't belong to her, but to the American people. In this case, too, I suppose, there's a lack of public interest. Who are the people at the FBI making this determination? It was the same when we watched former FBI Director James Comey make a determination in the case of Hillary Clinton that was outside his scope of duties. Where is the special prosecutor looking into the secret conversations of Bill Clinton and then Attorney General Loretta Lynch on a tarmac in Arizona? Where was the special prosecutor for Benghazi, Fast and Furious and Hillary Clinton's uranium deal with Russia? Where is a special prosecutor looking into who's funding the black-clad domestic terrorist organization Antifa? Don't try and blow sunshine up my butt and not tell me they aren't a subversive organization enacting violence and destroying property, masked and hooded thugs aren't allowed in America. Then again, the Democrat Party started one white hooded and masked group, previously, looks like they just changed colors, but the objective is still coercion intimidation and violence. Somehow, I suppose that investigating Antifa lacks public interest. Justice is no longer blind, it peeks out to see who's being investigated and, if they're part of the elite class, they get a pass. At the same time, those not belonging to this accepted class are told to obey and succumb to selected enforcement, kinda like sanctuary cities counties and states who place the lives of Americans at the mercy of criminal illegal aliens. That's what the new face of justice looks like. Bradley Manning can be set free, but Army First Lieutenant Clint Lawrence remains imprisoned. The former is a traitor who released more than 700,000 pieces of classified information. The latter stood, faced and killed the enemy. You tell me who's making the decisions on what's justice? So. Bradley Manning and Hillary Clinton expose classified information, but can just laugh it off and continue to walk freely because someone determined that there was a lack of public interest in their criminal activities. I find it truly disconcerting that, much like the Roman god Janus, justice in America has two faces. This whole effort comes just days after President Trump took to Twitter to lash out at the FBI and their corruption. Trump was rightly angered by the news that an FBI official who had been working with special counsel Robert Mueller had sent anti-Trump and pro-Hillary Clinton texts to his girlfriend. Mueller was then forced to remove the married FBI agent from his team. Who are these people who we have working at the FBI? President Trump and his political allies which includes Congressman DeSantis have made the case that the FBI has taken a much more forceful approach when investigating President Trump than they did when crooked Hillary Clinton was being probed for her use of a private email server set up in her guest bathroom while she was Secretary of State. Please share if you agree the FBI needs to be investigated and disbanded.